If you plant a zucchini plant, you are gonna know that there is always a ton of zucchini. Well, this salad uses it in a delicious way. Grilled zucchini and onion bring that really delicious, smoky grilled flavor. Add in some cherry tomatoes, the surprise ingredient of hominy, roasted peppers, feta, and a basil dressing. This salad is delicious, hearty, and a great summer staple. All that coming up on today's Wise Guide. I'm one of those people that doesn't really get tired of zucchini, and I know a lot of you out there right now are saying, yeah, well, what about when you have so much? Yeah, it's like free food. It's the gift that keeps on giving. So instead of getting annoyed, I just think of a lot of different ways to use it. Now, I am gonna admit, when you get those baseball bat sized ones, yeah, we've all had those. Those ones that you kinda hide from everyone or kinda try to give to your neighbor without them knowing. Yeah, those are a problem. So we're not gonna use those. For this, I'm gonna use medium sized zucchini. If you're buying it, you can easily pick out the one you want. If you're growing it at home, make sure to check it morning, noon, and night because somehow zucchini always sneaks up on you and like grow a foot long in a day. Yeah, we've all been there. To start, you're gonna grill up your zucchini and onion. Grilling them gives them amazing flavor, also softens them so you're not just eating like really hard and crunchy zucchini and a brace of onion. Softens all the flavors and adds the smoky flavor. Start by slicing your zucchini. You just wanna cut off the two ends, those you don't wanna eat, obviously, then just slice them down the middle. I'm keeping these somewhat small enough that I'm not gonna scoop out any of the seeds. I know some of you are saying seriously. Yeah, I am being serious. Grilled up, they're delicious. If it is too big of zucchini though, you will need to scrape them out. Also, cut up your onion. Just make sure to get any of those outer hulls off because they could burn on the grill. And then just drizzle some oil over the whole thing, brush it to make sure all the cut pieces have an even amount of oil. That way they're not gonna stick to the grill and it's flavor salt and pepper, and then head out to your grill. On a preheated grill, on high heat by the way, because I like to have a good char, put your zucchini and onion cut side down right on top of the grates. It is gonna take a little longer than you think because these are dense vegetables. Let them go until they are really well charred and starting to blister on the outside of their skin. Once they're done, and you can look at them every so often, just lift the lid, look underneath, see how charred they are and if they're beginning to soften. Remove them from the grill. You can use the same tray because we're not doing any meat, so there's no contamination issues. Remove them from the grill, take them inside and let them cool to room temperature. Once your zucchini and onion are at room temperature, you can chop them. Start with the zucchini. I like nice, hefty slices. You can do about a quarter inch. Add them to a bowl. Next, your onion. I like just the thin strips of onion. If you want it smaller, you can of course dice it whatever way you want. Add the onion on top of the zucchini. Then have your cherry tomatoes. You don't have to, but it's kind of hard to pick up a whole cherry tomato sometimes with a fork, and it's a lot easier if it's just sliced up. And I think it's kind of pretty to see the inside unless you don't like tomatoes, which I found out some of my friends don't. I don't know if we're gonna be friends much longer. Add your chopped cherry tomatoes to the bowl, and then your drained hominy. Yeah, I know. What? Yeah, it's kind of exciting when you try something new. Hominy is not something I use all the time, but it does add a great texture. Instead of adding maybe a white bean to this or quinoa, I like to add hominy. It's a dried corn and then it's alkalized. So who cares what that really means other than it makes it puffy and kind of delicious. It has a nice corny flavor and a great texture to the salad. Add your hominy. Then slice up some roasted red peppers. You get extra kudo points if you wanna roast your own peppers, and a lot of times I do, but you know what's extremely easy? Uh, roasted peppers in a jar. Yeah, it's a pantry staple for me. They add a great flavor, great color, and they're ready to go anytime you want them. Just chop them up and add them to the bowl. Now, for the dressing, this is kind of delicious. Sometimes I just like to add my herbs directly to the salad, but not for this. We are gonna blend them right into the dressing. I'm using my immersion blender. You can use just a blender if you want to. So I'm just gonna throw everything into a measuring cup. First, add your basil leaves. Just tear them up slightly so they break down easier. 
then some parsley. I am just ripping off the stems, not worrying too much if there's a little stem in there, and then adding them right on top of the basil. A garlic clove, just cut off the end, smash it, pull off that skin and add it. Seriously guys, we're making this easy. Pour in sherry vinegar. Sherry vinegar just has a great flavor. You could also use balsamic. Add your olive oil. Add some Dijon mustard. Any dressing, I just think Dijon mustard adds a great flavor. Add some salt and pepper. And for a little kick, some red pepper flakes. I love the little bit of undertone they give to anything. Once everything is put together, just blend it up until it is well combined, pureed, and smooth. I love the color of this too. It just gets a nice like green flavor. It looks so fresh. When it's mixed, you can just pour it on top of all your prepared vegetables in that salad. Stir it together, be somewhat gentle. You don't wanna break everything up too much. To finish this, you are gonna cut up some feta. I know some of you are gonna say, I don't like feta. Yeah, I know. You can add another cheese, but it will never be the same without feta. Chop up your feta. I like slightly big pieces, so I really know when I bite into one. Otherwise, you just kind of lose it and it kind of disintegrates into the liquid. Fold that in, and then you are ready to go. I like to serve this on a big platter. But guys, seriously, this is one of the first things to go. It is hearty, it is delicious, it uses all the vegetables that are plentiful this time of year, and it's so quick. For your next gathering, make sure to put this salad together because everyone is gonna love you for it. If you agree, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and if you're growing zucchini, make sure to get out there and check it, because it's gonna be big. Happy eating.